I am Face, and you're watching Dragon Age Inquisition LP, episode 125. We're back in Skyhold. Probably gonna, you know, do some things that I've been missing. Inquisitor. I get a book for Cassandra. Or not. Is this a bad time? I can come back. No, it's all right. Bills are really not that engrossing. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. There's no way I can be bigger than myself, Varric. Sure you can. You don't see yourself like they do. The sky tears open, demons everywhere. To ordinary folks, these are the end times. The only hope they have is you. You're the sign that somebody might hear their prayers. That maybe they're not abandoned after all. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Whatever I am to Thedas, I'm still just an ordinary person. So, just a regular person, like anybody else. Right. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Okay. Did I lose some money? <laughs> okay, let's talk again. What can I do for you, Inquisitor? A special. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? <laughs> Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Yeah, let's come, you know, through straight. I was hoping to give it to Cassandra as a gift. Oh, come on, that's just cruel. Even the Seeker doesn't deserve that. So. You want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. <laughs> I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is make or break. <laughs> You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Okay, so are we there yet? So to speak. Oh, he will still write it for a while. Probably even later. Okay, let's uh, travel to the garden just uh, for a few seconds. I'm gonna take some plants with me. Regrown by now. Back to Blackwall. 
give him back the artifacts of Grey Wardens we picked up on the journey. Alright. Heard you found something that had to do with Wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. All right. There's a rumor that coming to your city league with Elvin. Okay, inner circle, maybe. Okay, maybe the book is there. Yeah, who knows. Just quick to finish the books. Alright. There we go. Let's hope Varric at least hides. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. You recall the demon at Therenfall? The one impersonating Lord Seeker Lucius? We never found the real Lord Seeker. Or his body. Oh yeah. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars. Or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Why imprison? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. Yet a demon of envy does not kill whomever it replaces. It hides them away and learns about them. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Okay, another operation probably for a war table. It leads on that. I even got teleported back there. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, fast travel to the rescue. Nope, he's gonna bring what the book. What have you done now? Uh -uh. I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! Ah, you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it, it turns out the guardsman... Don't 
tell me. <laughs> Man. This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks after all. I thank you. This was everything I'd hoped. I know how you feel. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends. If you have any. <laughs> oh, completely worth it. Yeah. Priceless. Priceless experience. Oh, man. Okay, let's get uh, to judging uh, the service guy. That we caught quite a bit ago. Maybe we can interrogate him as well. I'm just off with his head. Mm, we'll see. Before you is service of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western Approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the Approach, without his master's consent. Huh? You stole from Corypheus. I don't know whether that's stupidly brave or bravely stupid. <laughs> I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, your worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor. And I can put them all at your disposal. Oh well. Hmm. How risky. Liliana will assign agents to you. I expect them to inform me that you have been forthright. If you want redemption, you'll have to earn it. I can more than pay my keep, Inquisitor. Thank you. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Get to the war table. Have at least a column ready. This mission was around 10 minutes. It was had at least an hour long, so yeah. Probably not back yet. worked out. Any news on why Corypheus is sending people to explore elven ruins of all things? No, I suspect he keeps the reason secret even from his inner circle. Uh, well, they can sense it. They don't really need to spread out that much. Just hope, you know, not to... Now lose the order. That's a uh, you know, valuable asset. For what it is. Inquisitor. Yeah, let's hope it works out like first time it did. Yeah, so many qu quests. 
Yeah, maybe I should go to the Emerald Graves. Oh, been to quite a few what happened in Adamant is a shame. places I'm here. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. Now, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Emerald Graves, here we go. Maybe need to, you know, vary up the party a bit. So didn't upgrade yet most of it. No, members of them gonna take. Yeah, probably Sarah and Vivian. Yeah, haven't uh, used them for a while in the party. Maybe we'll find some, you know, upgrades on the way. Probably I should have crafted something by now. Oh well. I have a bow in the, in the inventory still. That seems to be okay. Could be an upgrade. Not much on the armor side, but yeah. Still have quite a few staffs as well. Yeah, I should be fine. Hmm. We heard our uh, screams from miles away, out in the darkness, where we couldn't see anything. Uh, once back, when I worked on my uncle's farmhold. Okay. The game is uh, always loading faster when you read. Should do it more often. All right. Here we go. Any second now. I heard it already. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of Fade Rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. I do enjoy these encounters. It's like we're getting to know each other. We are. Aren't we? Such a shame our meetings are so brief. But, you know, saving the world and all that. Busy, busy. Huh. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Do you know nothing else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? Yeah. What was done to the elves here was unforgivable. That's why I was saying that. At least I hope not. <laughs> Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. A group of deserters from the Imperial Armies has established itself here. Freemen of the Dales, they call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition and everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Yeah, a little bit too cheerful about what has been to the elves. <laughs> They'll never really like you, Vivi. Sarah dear, whatever has your scattered mind conjured now? The knobs in Orlais. They barely like their own kin, and you're a mage. Your failing, among many, is that you presume I desire approval. Power does not require that I be liked. Well, halfway there then. Alright. There are some level ups, still. Yeah, what should I get here? Yeah, we 
can probably chain and uh, it's uh, an area, you know, so not uh, for all the party members, but all for all the party members in the area. Oh yeah, sure. Don't know the V stack. Well, one way to find out. Oh yeah, I used up a points already. Okay, Sarah has even three points. That could be useful for five seconds only, though. Yeah, let's see. Nice pa passive. Interesting. Wait, this is the actual uh, melee? Great. And I made her an archer. <laughs> Not sure about that one. Does a flask count or is it just for actual potions? Eh, it's probably still pretty good. Constitution cannot hurt. And uh, no cooldown. And eh, not much cooldown abilities anyway. Let's get some cooldown abilities. Although, not really much I can get. Eh, fine. Can I get leaping shot next? Full draw, long shot, explosive. Eh. Yeah, not for now. And uh, Vivian. Night and Shander. The damage. Yeah, probably good. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, probably gonna get a heal next. Okay, this is a lot of management. Kinda need to do it still. Sorry if it's taking, you know, a little bit too long. Yeah. I'm trading cold resistance for electric and fire and spirit. A lot of resistances here. Losing some magic and some willpower. I guess it's fine for now. Okay. And helmet wise. A cunning. Uh, magic defense. Or overseal. Overseer. Yeah, not sure, so let's uh, fashion go. <laughs> Magic defense is fine, I guess. We're changing this, so let's at least uh, do it fancy way. Okay, and for Sarah, what can we get for her? Yeah, cunning seems fine, especially for rogue. Okay, 
Do I have any? No. I haven't even put any upgrades here. Whoops. Okay. Gonna be extra harder then. Weapon wise. I One is better. This one is having uh, a little bit more damage. And the cunning, this one has a lot of constitution more. Both have cult chops. Uh, cunning is probably still better. I will see. Okay. Now just need to get the potions up a little bit more of a management heavy episode. There we go. Yeah, Cassandra, the last uh, check about the shield change. Mm-hmm. Nope, not really. Except that buff duration is longer. And constitution versus strength, and eh, never mind. Let's claim this point. And feel free to read about uh, Nygarian. Probably gonna make this episode a little bit longer. That was uh, quite a big camp in here. Yeah, probably gonna do crest with one. I have plenty of obsidian. Dispatch for you. What is it? This could help us. Okay, giant lure. Yeah, this is uh, definitely much different from the other locations we have been so far. All that green. Free men. Okay, uh, probably local gang here. Here we go. Into the play. Yeah, probably at least going to, you know, oh, I need this, a lot of these. Like, please more? Okay, till I got distracted, uh, yeah, probably gonna do this episode uh, and at least uh, until I encounter the Fairbanks too. 
I'm not sure if uh, I'm not overdoing it. Oh, I need this as one as well. Oh, this is awesome location already. A yeah, bloodstone, pretty good. A uh, HP buff. Material. No constitution, which is even better. I missed some loot. Okay. Fire fight. I'm not sure I have seen this before. So it sounds like it could be fire resist, but metals didn't seem to be that much uh, about uh, magic resistance. Someone should build a summer home here. The trees are actually quite lovely. Mm, okay. Huge trees. Okay. Maybe I should, you know, just uh, go after the main guy. Ignore this little mob here. Let's go talk to the main guy and, uh, you know, I can cut the episode then. Fairbanks is expecting you Look a little bit like Solas, but you're not an elf. Okay. Oh yes, this is good. Used in so many things. <clears throat> mm, okay, where do I get the uh, no mage fire? Probably a little bit, you know, more hidden than the rest of the torches. I'll be here. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk with you very soon. Let's pick up some of these. Okay, let's talk. Inquisitor, please listen. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the Freemen are colluding with your enemy. Mm hmm Which one? Enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the Freeman bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the Freeman, and they'll lead you straight to the Red Templars. This, I promise. Let's assume that's right. <clears throat> Look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the Freeman is right here, in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next episode. Bye.